Hello everybody, back once again with another dividend snapshot. This time we had a request from Broski777 who wrote, mind doing a card on General Dynamics and here it is. So General Dynamics operates as an aerospace and defense company worldwide. It operates through four segments, aerospace, marine systems, combat systems and technologies. So. Aerospace are for business jets, as far as I could tell. So obviously with the lockdown or exclusion from like the world with Russia and everything, I think that business segment has probably taken quite a hit. Obviously marine system, combat system and technologies have risen quite fairly um, since the special operation, as I like to call it in Ukraine started. If we look at the company internally, some things goes up and some things goes down right now. But if we take a look over the last year, they are actually quite heavily up. And you can see that it was just late February that they came a huge boom and that was obviously when the um, war in Ukraine started to break out or was already broken out but that was probably when that big hit came um, if you zoom even further out here you see that there is a pretty huge drop around COVID so obviously the time after there the whole aerospace segment of this is is heavily affected so um so there is definitely some things to keep in mind when looking closer at the stocks, but let's look at how our metrics go. It has a market cap of 61.33 billion. It trades at a forward PE ratio of 18.63, so that's a check, it needs to be under 20. It has revenue growth over the last five years, so that's also a check. Profit margin, I like it to be over 10%. In this case, it's at 8.4. So it's, it's it's close, but but we're not quite there. And as I just mentioned, I think it's because that not all of their segments can truly contribute to, um, to the profit margin. The net income is growing, which is great over the last five years. So that's a check as well. And they do share buybacks. The dividend yield is at 2.23, so that's a check. The payout ratio is below 60% at 41.35, so that is also a check. Pretty healthy, I would say. The dividend growth rate is at 9.13, and that is that, that's quite nice to see, so that's a big check as well. Dividend growth rate, dude, that's a huge one. 27 consecutive years, man, that's good. Huge check. So yes, the dividend per share is increasing, which is good. So now we start to come to the bit of a bath, but now we start to look at the cash flow. Free cash flow growth is actually quite stagnant because if you look over the last five year period, it started, I think at 3.4, then it actually dropped down a bit. And then last year it went back up 3.4 billion. So it's actually remained quite stagnant for over the last five years with a bit of a dip in between. So the long-term liabilities to the five-year free cash flow, I really like it to be below five, but it's at 6.3. It's not a huge deal breaker, but I I really need to see some better free cash flow growth in, in this company, I would say. So also we have the price to the free cash flow. I, I really like it to be below 15 to 20 mark. 20 if it's a pretty growing company, as we can see here that it actually is, but it's a 21.6 that's also a bit worrisome so a quick fair value estimate based on the free cash flow is that it's it's slightly overvalued i would say maybe around five percent ish something like that but if you look at analyst estimates for the stock they all seem to think that it can go to i think it's around 270 that's the estimate so there's there's room to grow with like 20 percent if, if according to the analyst so i really think if you want to look at this i would definitely do some very very proper due diligence as always you need to do that of course but in this case i would really consider why i would invest in this company so the verdict here is nine checks out of 14 which for me says that I could add it to the watch list because there is definitely some good stuff here. I really like the dividends. I really like the um, the revenue and the net income growth. I really like the uh, the areas it operates in. If we can get 
everything going for them all four segments but i'm a bit worried about the cash flow so for me personally if i should look at this i would only add it to the watch, watch list right now because i think most of the growth came here around march to may is based off the war in ukraine so if that ends anytime soon and the world keeps on excluding russia i think the aerospace part will have a pretty heavy time getting back up to speed to be honest so definitely do some due diligence on this one if you want to look closer at it i really like the dividends so so it, it, it is something i could imagine looking closer at at some point so thank you so much for watching guys i really hope you like this small walkthrough and let me know down in the comments if you have any other uh, ticker you would like me to look at or if you really like this some encouraging words is also appreciated please subscribe to the channel and like the video for more videos in the future and until next time just have a good one